Problem 7. Problem 7. A spherical con conductor has a radius of 14 centimeters and a charge of 70 microcoulombs. Calculate the electric field and the po electric potential at the following distances from the center. Okay? So a spherical conductor. <coughs> First, I start by drawing a picture. Here's my sphere. This sphere is radius of 0.414 meters and a charge of 70 times 10 to the day of 6 coulombs. All right, so memory back from last couple of lessons, there is no electric field inside of conductor. Inside a conductor, no electric field. So we know that this part right here is going to be zero. Now, we know that voltage equals negative integral e dot dr. So, when we put in zero for electric field, and we take the integral of that, what do we get? Well, we get zero. Zero plus c, constant. Remember that one thing you always get your points taken away from for forgetting c? You're like, ah, oh, but c is not important. It's the easy part. Well, it exists here too. So now we gotta find out what that C is. Basically I'm saying that it's a constant. Once you have a, so if you take a charged particle over here, move it into the circle, moving it anywhere in the circle is gonna be just as hard as moving it to any spot, other spot in the circle. So moving it to any spot in the circle will be easy, but we gotta get it in the circle first. So if I was going to draw a graph here, so this will be R from the center. Here's where our sphere ends, i.e. the 0.14 meters. And this is going to be potential. The potential in here would be the same. And once you get outside of it, it's going to drop as KQ over R. So it'll be like a 1 over R. That's not supposed to actually come back up. It did. Where electric field, on the other hand, this is our 0.14 area, the electric field will be zero, and it'll start up here as soon as we reach the end. And it'll lower by one over r squared. So inside, we're going to have a constant potential. Constant, possibly non-zero potential. So the way we're going to find that potential then is we're going to find it at the edge of the sphere, which we know will be kq over r. which will be 8.99 times 10 to the ninth times Q, which is 70 times 10 to the negative sixth over 0.14, which is 14 times 10 to the negative second. Simplifying slightly. All right, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 minus 6 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 10, yeah, probably close. All right, then we're just going to Wolfram, 8.99 times 7 divided by 14 times 10 to the 6th. And we have 4 point, I guess say 4.5 times 10 to the 6th equals 4.5 times 10 to the 6th. This is going to be either in volts or joules per coulomb, whichever you enjoy. Okay? And when we convert, convert that into megavolts, we're going to have just 4.5. 4.5 megavolts. <clears throat> and the direction. Hmm. I'm going to say none. There should be no direction associated with a uh, potential. Potential is a scalar, so there's going to be no direction. And then there's going to be no direction with the electric field either because it, it's zero can't have direction for something that doesn't exist. Okay? Now, we're going to look at 
the electric field at 45 centimeters. So at 45 centimeters, we're going to have 0.45. Okay, so this is the standard problem we've worked a couple times already. So the voltage will be KQ over R, which is 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. Times, they gave us a value here, I just forgot it, 70. 70 times 10 to the negative sixth over 45 times 10 to the negative second. Okay, simplifying again, we're gonna have 8.99 times seven over 45 times 10. And again, this is going to be 10 plus 2 is 12, 10 to the sixth. All right, I'm going to go back to my Wolfram and replace the 14 by 45. This gives me 1.4 times 10 to the sixth. One point four times ten to the six, and then ten to the six is just the megavolts. All right. Now we're going to do the electric field. Same idea. B equals no. Electric field equals. There we go. K cube. This time over R squared. Let's see here. Eight point nine nine. times 70 times 10 to the negative 6 over 45 <coughs> times 10 to the negative second squared. All right. So then here, instead of 10 to the 6, we're going to have 10 to the 8th. Could we? Let's say 10 to the 9th over here. Get all those. And then 45 will be squared. So go over here, change the 6 to an 8, and square the 45. And we get 3.11 times 10 to the 6th. And that is um, electric field, so that would be newtons per coulomb. So it would be 3.11 times 10 to the 3.11 mega newtons per coulomb. Yep, I would really feel better if this was joules per coulomb. Just like electric field is newtons per coulomb, electric potential should be megajoules per coulomb, or joules per coulomb. And then direction. All right, so for the direction, I know what we're looking at is positive. So it is positive, so the electric field is going to be from the center, radially outward. Outward, and this one I'm going to say none. All right. So a spherical conductor. So the electric field at exactly 14. So the radius is 14. They want us to look at exactly 14. So for the electric potential, this is going to be easy. This is going to be the exact same answer as we had up here. Because looking at this graph that I crudely put together, the electric potential will be constant throughout the circle. And that will be the electric potential at the very edge of the circle. So this will be 4.5 times 10. Nope, not times 10 to the 6, because we already have megavolts right there. And again, the um, direction will be done. All right. So now for the electric field. Hmm. Not quite sure where they're going with this. I'm going to say that the electric field equals kq over r squared, which is going to be 8.99 times 7 times 10 to the 8th over 14 squared.
3.2 times 10 to the 7th. equals 3 point nope 2 times 10 to the 7th which is 32 times 10 to the 6th mega newtons no uh, newtons per coulomb there we go so it's going to be one of two answers here either this is going to be 3.2 or it's going to count the very edge of the uh, conductor as part of the conductor and therefore zero. But I'm going to guess they want 3.2 times 10 to the 6, which is mega newtons per coulomb. Okay, so the key concept they're trying to get you to understand here is the electric potential inside a sphere is not necessarily zero, even though the electric field is. All right? This homework is shaping up pretty well. Let's move on to number eight.